Recently, Adobe announced Adobe Firefly. What's Adobe Firefly? It's their version of how to generate AI art. It's absolutely amazing. It can do so much. And in this video, we're going to cover what it can do now and what it can do in the future. Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Goodman and I do creative work on the iPad. Last year, I looked at DALI 2 and went quite in depth with some of the things that it can do and was really, really impressed. I'm also getting into a bit of mid journey and some other AI stuff. But when Adobe Firefly came out just a short time ago, I signed up to get access to it straight away and within 48 hours I got access with it. I've been playing about with it and I have to say I'm really really impressed. So in the following videos I'm going to do another mini series where I'm going to be taking you through step by step some of the things Adobe Firefly can do but let's start off with a promotional video that Adobe released and I'm going to talk you through it and my thoughts on it so let's get into it. I've muted the audio on my video here but it's got quite a nice wee jingle. Portrait of a person in an art studio with plants and sunlight generate. And this looks very much like Dali 2. That's really, really nice. That's done in the style of art. And then on the right hand side, you have different options. In Dali 2 and Mid Journey and other AI programs, you have to describe if you want it to look like photo, if you want it to look like art or ink sketch or things like that. This here is really nice. The UI on Adobe Firefly is so, so powerful. It's a real strong benefit of this AI art generation tool. Let's see what else you can do. And again, you can change the aspect ratio portrait, square, story, widescreen. Very, very nice. And this is image extending and DALI 2 has image extending and it's very, very good. Very, very impressive. That's common to Firefly also. Not at the minute. You can't get access to it at the minute. At the minute, there's only two things and I'll cover that as the video comes. In painting, again, there's a bit of in painting in DALI 2. But let's see what Firefly can do. A red jacket. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. Smart portrait. Yep. Let's make him smile open his eyes or close his eyes in this case. You can create a bit of a death map and that's really, really cool also. A sunlit living room with modern furniture and a large window. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's brilliant. Imagine to an interior design, take a photo, bring it into Adobe Firefly. That's the future right there. 3D to image. This is really cool. I'm not sure where I would use this, but the fact that you can have a 3D generated model and then do AI art around that generated model is, is awesome. Make a birthday poster. So text the template. Canva, we're coming for you. Or Adobe's coming for you. More than it already is. Conversational editing. Again, a dog. Make them look like Santa. Put stuff in the background. Put them for a Christmas card if you're a pet lover or maybe even a kid lover. Dressing your kid or even for Halloween. Dressing your kid up as something. Putting things in the background. Making a Halloween card or a Christmas card in this case. Text to vector. Hot air balloons over a valley at Golden Hour. Now this again is unbelievable because you can actually download it. Not as an image but you can download the vectors and then you can edit the vectors. As someone who does a little bit of illustration but illustration like this just to come up with ideas within seconds and then having the ability to click and move objects, to resize them, to recolor, that's scary. Combined photos, <sighs> ah, no words. Color conditioned image generation, upscaling. Again, there's quite a few tools at the minute using AI for upscaling, but the fact that Adobe Firefly can do this, that's really, really good and really, really nice. And that is the end of the video. So that was the promotional video for Adobe Firefly. I'm so, so excited. DALI 2 is amazing. I still use DALI 2. Mid Journey is currently the industry standard, I think, for AI art generation, and it's unbelievable. And there's other ones, but in my opinion, Adobe Firefly is common for everyone. It's common for everyone. And the powerful thing about Firefly is the user interface. Really nice. It's really clean. There's so many options available. And the next video, we're going to look at exactly what you can do. Text to image generation. It'll blow your mind. And the video after that, you can make custom text. And also, let's have a quick look at the Adobe Firefly website. Meet Adobe Firefly. Join the beta at the minute. It's not a fully functional version. You have to sign up. Request access. Fortunately, I was. Within 48 hours, I think I was given access. And it's a lot of fun as the next few videos. I'm going to show you. AI made for creators. Unlimited creative options fast. That's unbelievable. It's, it's showing you there are different variations of lighthouses and things like that. The thing that makes Adobe Firefly different from DALI to Mid Journey and other AI generation tools is those tools are using art from all over the internet, anywhere where they can pick up photos and images, they're going to be using them. Adobe Firefly is just using their own images and photos and vectors from Adobe stock. So it's just being trained on anything that's under Adobe. Instant creative building blocks and the fact that you can make vectors like this is game changing. If you're not big into vector design, to be able to do a bit of a doodle, scan it in and just boom, Adobe Firefly will make variations of your sketches. That's 
it's a crazy, it's a crazy new world. Like a Finley photo, like a Finley photo, it's snow, and it's even touching the 3D models too. And as you can see down here, these ends, you can type a word and then describe how you want that word to come across. So there's one, the letter N made of red particles or made of red moss or gold and different things. It's really, it's a really, really exciting tool. I know not everyone is Adobe fans, and I would imagine you'll have to be part of their creative cloud to use this here. I am part of their creative cloud and my full-time job, I use Adobe Creative Cloud, but when I'm not using Adobe, like Affinity Photo, which is mostly tutorials to find in this channel, but I am getting into AI art. I am looking at different things. I'm excited by AI art. And in the next few videos, I'm gonna be looking into Adobe Firefly. Join me if that interests you. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.